I think while that's drying, we'll go check out the sale situation. Yeah. Cool. Oh wait, but are our bananas ready over there? No, they don't. No. No. Be... What about our other thing of bananas over there? There might be one or two on there at the bottom. Okay, is that our sale? Yeah. Alright, let's I just it like spread it out and see how big it is. Alright. How many babies long is that sale? I don't know. Alright, got the baby off the sale. What? What? What's up there you want? Alright. Well, what is it? Some stuff up here. What, do you want some water? Or are you just messing with me? Do you want any stuff up here or what? Oh, you want the fishing line. Can you reach it? Oh, the scissors, of course, yeah. What, are you going to help me sew a sail with that stuff? Fishing line and scissors, that, that's the right stuff, yeah. Alright, let me figure this out. What am I going to do here? All right, if I, wait. if I want to do standard triangle, I can slice a chunk here, then take that and put it on top, and it would be twice as tall and that wide. Plan's working. So what if I didn't know about this normal style sail? What would I make? One thing I think would be kind of cool is a tripod. So you get a stick out in the front and then two down to the back. And then attach the sail to the front stick and just use it like a... Like it doesn't have to have a stick down here. I don't remember what it's called now. But just uh, tension back to... You know, just stretch it. And then... You don't have so much pressure on this one mast. You know, like in a thing like this, this mast is being pulled down by all the strings that are holding it in place. So there's tons of pressure down. And then there's all this pressure up like this. So the, the boat's always getting, you know, kind of bent. But with a tripod thing, there'd be a lot less uh, pressure on any one part. So I decided to paint my sail, because I had some orange paint. So I figured painting it would make the cloth extra strong, right? So I threw some paint and some water in a bucket, because I figured it had to be a little watery to soak into all the cloth the way I was doing it anyway. So I threw some paint and some water in the bucket, stuffed the sheet in there, mashed it around. Well, it's actually way bigger than a sheet. It would be like a monster-sized bed sheet. But anyway, I got it all covered in paint. And then strung a string across these two coconuts, and then another string, and then strung the, the whole thing over there. And then it started pouring rain, uh, which would obviously wash all the paint off my sail. So I had to run out, grab it, and it's hung up in the lower deck now, which is right down here. And I'll show that when it stops pouring. What's that, Squirtle? Here's me blue sail, now painted orange. Now tomorrow, I'm gonna get some more resin. And I'm thinking today I can plan how this piece will attach to my pontoons. And what the other one of these is gonna be made out of. Uh, the other one doesn't need to be quite so hugely strong as this one because it's not gonna have a sail attached to it. Probably. Oh, and I decided that I do want to make my boat dismantleable. I have an idea for some really simple connections that I'll rely on rope tying to hold it all together. Uh, basically, on the pontoon part, I put a piece of wood there and fiberglass over it, 
and then I put a piece of wood back there and fiberglass over that. And then I'll have like a little strip by fiberglass on the front and back of here just to, you know, reinforce that a little. And then okay, I've got my strip of wood there and my strip of wood here. And then I can just make sure these are sticking out on the side of the pontoon a bit. And I can get rope under and then over here and around the other side and over and blah, 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 and just tie it on. That should be pretty strong and easy to get off and back on. God, I can't wait to fiberglass this stupid thing and put it all together. Although, to know where to put this on my pontoons, I need to know what my sail is and how big it is and stuff like that. All right, I'm not gonna get too complicated. I think I'm gonna just chop off that chunk and put it up here. And I just have to make sure this is about the same, well, slightly longer than this before I cut it because I want this to overlap a little bit. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good, kind of. The, sew that together down there. Hmm. Don't need that much of an overlap either, but I kind of did that on purpose so I could chop off a chunk, a chunk and then use it as reinforcements anywhere I need reinforcements. Have that piece? No, I'm making it for my boat parts that I'm making. You're using it for your boat parts that you're making? Yeah. Oh. For my boat that I want to make. Oh, okay. I'm going to make you some more boat pieces that you need. Cool. Alright, I'm thinking this. And then thinking this. Mmm, yes. orange. Paint or glue? It's pretty much the same thing. Excellent. What I'm thinking here is I can cut a groove in a pipe so there will be a slot all the way up and I can slide this up in between the groove, you know, in the slot. Alright, one extra layer for reinforcement. Uh, I don't have enough space to do the bottom edge, which I want to make the same as this, I think. Anyway, I've got time to think about it because I have to wait for this to dry. Hmm. You know, I'm looking at this thinking the straight grain of cloth should be along the side that's not supported by any sticks of any kind. And this is going to be the mass, so there's no straight grains along there. And so it might just stretch. I mean, it would just stretch. And I'm sort of counting on the paint to glue it all together enough that it's not just going to stretch a lot. But, huh. Like, I'm going to fold over that edge a bunch of times, but it's still going to stretch over there. Anyway, I could still make that the uh, non-sticked edge. Just have to... I'm going to go eat some food.